Hey everyone, Matt here from Native Instruments, and today we're gonna check out the Play Series instrument, Empire Breaks. Empire Breaks packs the timeless essence of classic sample-based drums into an inspiring Play Series instrument that unlocks the rhythmic sound of golden era hip hop. Every kick, clap, tom, and hat is captured from brand new vintage style drum recordings, processed with classic gear, and delivered with multiple velocity layers for kits that sound totally natural. Empire Breaks includes 30 different kits with over 200 sounds. Let's check out some of these presets. I already created some chords of Playbox, a lead melody from Lo-Fi Glow, and some bass with retro machines. Let's use Empire Breaks and finish this track off with some drums. The main page of the instrument gives you a super clean look with simple controls. Here are all the drums. And then down here at the bottom, you have all the macro controls. These are mapped to different functions and effects throughout the plugin. Let's check out the Kit tab. Here you can control the samples, as well as the functionality of each sound, such as pitch, volume, attack, decay, sustain, and release. Within each sample, you also have insert effects. Each sample can have four different effects, and you can choose from the list. You can also shift the order around by simply dragging. Let's change this to a tighter snare. To do this, I'm gonna hit the magnifying glass and it's gonna bring me to the sample browser. You can sort by instrument type. I'm gonna to go to snare and tab over a few pages. You get a preview of the sound when you single click and double click to load it in. You can also use these arrows to flip through samples. Now let's check out how the macros are mapped to the effects. I'm gonna to go to the effects tab, under global effects, I'll select lo-fi, and then let's manipulate this lo-fi knob and see how it changes the parameters. You can see by simply turning the one macro knob at the bottom, it changes multiple different settings. Let's check out the cutoff. One thing I love about this plugin is the ability to play the drums individually or play the patterns as a whole. The lower part of your keyboard will play each sound while the higher part will trigger the patterns. Let's try a few. Let's shift over two octaves and check out the patterns. What I like to do is let my track loop in the background and trigger different patterns to get a feel on how I want things to go. On the pattern page, you also have a few other options that are really useful, such as swing. Halftime. Double time. And more. 
Now that I've picked which patterns I want to use, you can record by just playing the pattern note or drag and drop the patterns MIDI straight into your DAW. I prefer to do it this way so I have ultimate control over my samples. This is really starting to come together here. I'm just going to go into the kit editor and turn down the hi-hat a little bit. Sounds great. One of the reasons I like to use the MIDI drag and drop is because now I can delete specific instruments from the kit. Let's take this clap out of the first part of my verse. And let's play that back. I think that flows a little bit better into the chorus. Now let's automate this cutoff knob. With automation read mode on in Logic, I'll just click on the parameter and then it automatically shows up. I'm just going to filter it in from the top and then filter it out towards the end. Last thing to do is let's check out this noise layer option. A lot of cool ways to give your drums that sample feel. I'm going to select Vinyl Crackle, we'll turn it down a little bit, and then let's check this whole track out. And that's Empire Breaks. Check it out today over at nativeinstruments.com or get it as part of the Complete Now bundle. Stay tuned for more plug-in walkthrough videos to see what comes with Complete Now and how you can make most of all the included sounds.